Hi, my name is Gary Jablonski. I'm the Product Development Manager at Ford Motor Company for Entertainment, Information, and Communication Systems. Ford Sync is making in-car connectivity more affordable and more widely available than ever before. When we talk about connectivity, we're talking about the ability to connect digital media players or Bluetooth-enabled mobile phones to your car. Now, Ford Sync is a computer platform, and on that platform, we've bundled three software applications. First, full voice control over media players like the Apple iPod, the Microsoft Zune, or even MP3s that you've loaded on a small USB device like this. Secondly, voice-activated hands-free phone calling with Bluetooth-enabled phones. And thirdly, we've included a program that helps you manage text messages that you might receive on your phone while you're driving your car. So let me show you a little bit about how those three programs work. First, let's talk about the media player. Sync-equipped vehicles come with a USB port that's packaged in our floor console. I bring my music player to the car along with the same cable that I used to plug it into my computer, but instead, I plug it into my car. And from there, I have complete control of my music player, either through the radio or by voice controls from the steering wheel. So for example, if I'd like to play one track out of the 10,000 that I have on my music player, I can ask Sync to do it by voice. Main menu. User device. USB, please say a command. Play track, Big Jazz. Playing track, Big Jazz. It's as easy as that. And there's similar commands. If you want to play an artist, you can say, play artist Nickelback. Or if you want to listen to country music, you can say, play genre country. So now let's talk a little bit about the second application, the hands-free phone calling. Based on Bluetooth technology, Sync is able to access the phone book in your phone so that you can make calls from your car, again, completely by voice. It works like this. Main menu. Phone. Phone, please say a command. Call Mark Shermer. Calling Mark Shermer. Hi, this is Mark. Hi, Mark. This is Gary calling. How are you? Hey, pretty good. Hey, I'm calling in the middle of a sync demo here. I just wanted to demonstrate our hands-free phone calling feature. How does it sound on that end? Hey, it sounds great. Hey, it sounds great here, too. Hey, thanks for helping me, Mark. Hey, you bet. Thanks. So lastly, let's talk about the text messaging feature. So if you're driving your car and you receive a text message on your phone, Sync's going to be able to get that text message from your phone and read it to you through the car's audio speakers. Sync will give me an indication on the radio that I've received a message. So I see that I have an incoming message from Mark, and I can ask Sync to read it to me. Main menu. Phone. Phone, please say a command. Read message. Great demo so far, Gary. How much longer are you going to be? We need you back at the office. Laughing out loud. See you later. Now, as you might have heard, that text message included an acronym LOL for laughing out loud. Sync is smart enough to know how to translate uh, those abbreviations into words before it reads us the message. Now, I could reply to that message from Mark with one of 15 canned responses that we put into Sync and tell him that I'm running late or that I can't talk right now, for example. Now, one of the things about Sync is that it's an upgradable software platform. And what that means to you as a customer is that as you buy new devices, new phones, and new music players, Ford's going to be able to provide software updates to Sync to keep your car compatible with your devices over the lifetime of your car. Now, Sync's going to be available on 12 vehicles this year and nearly every Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury vehicle in two years. We started building Sync-equipped vehicles late this summer, and we're looking forward to having this great new product in the marketplace this fall.